Video games are one of the most popular forms of entertainment today. They're a Scottish success story, both creatively and economically. When the Scottish Parliament's Economy, Energy and Tourism Committee decided to have a look at the creative industries, that's film, TV and video games, we were amazed at just how innovative and inspiring the game sector was. What became clear to us is that the video games are at the forefront of digital media today. As an entertainment business, its value is enormous. But it also reaches into other areas, such as education and health. The industry has barely scratched the surface of what is possible. So how are the Scottish Government and its agencies adapting to support the industry to make the most of these opportunities? For one, they needed to understand that it had changed. The committee wanted to understand the number of jobs and the economic impact of the industry in Scotland, but we found there was not good data available to provide us with this information. Those who provided evidence said that they felt well supported, but they said support from the public sector hadn't adapted to reflect the changing nature of the industry. As this committee takes evidence from uh, various creative industries, most of the messages that you will hear are messages of uh, <coughs> challenge within a sector, of uh, you know, requirement for funding to, to in some way be competitive. Uh, the games sector doesn't need that. You know, we, we sit today um, with, as of last weekend, uh, Sony, Sony's PlayStation charts, the top two games are both developed in Scotland. Uh, one being uh, my own studio's Minecraft that we develop all the console versions for here in Dundee and East Linton, and Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto V. It is an incredibly rapidly evolving industry, and one in which new devices, new gadgets, new routes to market, new business models appear all the time. And this forces the industry to constantly change and constantly run to keep up. And as such, the support that's on offer is sometimes out of date by the time it's implemented. The committee wants to see Scotland remain front and centre to seize the vast opportunities for the video game sector and to celebrate its future success. We are recommending a national strategy for a long-term sustainable video games industry, drawn up by Creative Scotland and fully involving the industry, academia and other public bodies. Creative Scotland take the lead in working with the industry to identify skills gaps, promote job opportunities and educational courses and that the Scottish and UK governments work together on policies which allow Scotland to attract and hold on to top-class video games talent from all parts of the world. You can read our report in full by going to our webpage and continue the debate on social media.